Hey guys, it's Brittany Chisholm. I am a homeschool mom of two wonderful daughters, um, and I'm also a Homework Spy Precept consultant here in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Um, but this video today is going to be about um, a look inside the book for Science 1, the fourth edition. Um, this, I actually got to use it last year, um, and we did the parent led. Um, this is a really great book. Um, I normally recommend for customers to do here to studies the first semester and science the second semester. However, this year with my daughter being in second grade, we learned with her she does better on a block schedule with those to do them both year round. So we do two days of history and two days of science. Um, and then on Mondays we don't do either one most of the time. Um, just to doing having more extracurricular on Mondays. Um, but again, this is going to be a look inside the book for the science one, the fourth edition. Um, so hopefully you'll get some good information from this and I hope y'all enjoy. Here is the science one, fourth edition, teacher's edition. Here's your contents page, which covers and shows the lesson plans and the chapters. You have a total of five units with a total of 12 chapters. You also have your teacher resources, including your instructional aids, visuals, student index, teacher index. Then you have your biblical worldview shaping page, which is going to cover where did our world come from? Why do things work together the way they do? Who are we? Why are we here? Why is science important? Then you'll have your page with your goals. Here is your instructional materials for the year. You'll have a student edition, activity book, a teacher's edition, and your assessments. Here are some things that are new to this edition. And don't forget, in the back of your teacher's book or teacher's edition, you'll have a teacher's tool CD where you can print off some helpful additional instructional tools. Here is our student edition features. It tells you the lesson number, it has the diagram for you, your vocabulary, your interest box, and the captions. Then you'll have an investigation page, sometimes an exploration page or a STEM page. You've got processing skills and an investigation photo. Also a quick check. Then you have your activity features Bible verse page a graphic organizer, your study guide, investigation, and your exploration. Also, your STEM page. Teacher edition features includes a lesson resource box. The BWS icon identifies a biblical worldview shaping objective. The BWS objectives applies biblical worldview truths and principles. Preparation for reading, teaching for understanding, activities, helps and background, and your rubric. Also your materials, your teacher resources, the big question, your gear icon which indicates a higher order question, then your vocabulary, your looking ahead, and activities. Assessment grading. This is here to use as a guide. Remember, everyone's homeschooling is different, and you can use these materials to work best for your family. Unit 1 is going to cover Let's Learn About Science. It will tell you the lesson, what page that is in the teacher's edition, what page that is in the student edition, and if there's an activity pages, what pages, and the objectives. Your chapter 2 is What Scientists Do. Unit 2, Let's Learn About Living Things, which Chapter 3 is Plants. Chapter 4, Animals. Unit 3, Let's Learn About Our Bodies. The Human Body is Chapter 5. Chapter 6, Care for the Human Body. Unit 4, Let's Learn About Earth and Space. Chapter 7, The Earth and Its Lights. Chapter 8 is The Seasons. And chapter 9 is the weather. Unit 5, let's learn about energy, light. And chapter 11, sound. 
Lastly, we have chapter 12, which is communicating with light and sound. Now let's look at the layout. Here we have our book objectives, our lesson number at the top, the introduction, a little bit of background for us, and some questions to go along. Your student text will look pretty similar to what is up here. Again, you have your chapter objectives, your teacher resources, your chapter introduction, teach for understanding, and your preparation for reading. Now I'm briefly going to flip through just so you can see what one chapter will look like. Your exploration. This one has an activity song. There's your STEM. You've got a space for some notes. And then this would begin chapter two. We've made it through all the lessons in the book. We have our teacher resources. Explaining the gospel, the biblical worldview shaping scope and sequence, the getting started, instructional aids, visual, student index, teacher index. This is a great page to refer to throughout the year or any times your student have questions. Also, this is a great tool page to use during your own Bible study or devotional. Here's your biblical worldview shaping scope and sequence. This goes over your getting started, scheduling, a science notebook, teaching, a text lesson, prepare for reading, the vocab, your teacher resources, materials. All kinds of great information to explain ahead of time throughout the year for your lessons. Then you have your science process skills. And your instructional aids. These are great if you have a student who is more of a visual learner. This is one that I like to print off and laminate and have on the bulletin board throughout the year. This shows you an example of the Bible verses for the chapters. These are also great to laminate and put on the bulletin board or in a folder for them to look at frequently. Again, lots of visual, visuals. BJU Press has done a great job with supplying all of these wonderful materials for our students. Now we've made it to the index. So if you need to see something about bones, this is where you would go to find what page. If you were looking for day or creation, animals, light, or sound. And that completes our teacher's edition. Here is our Science 1 4th edition student text. I'm going to briefly flip through just to give you a general idea as to what the student text will look like. It should be pretty similar as to what is included in the teacher's edition. And that shows that it's lesson 13. Remember the bolded words are your vocab. There's your STEM. Here is your Science 1 4th edition activity book. Here is your Bible verse. Again, I like to take these out and laminate them and put them on the bulletin board or in a specific folder for the year. They're going to have some of these that are maybe multiple choice or circle. They may have some that are fill in the blank. Here is their study guides. I do not personally use the study guide as a grade. I use it as a practice. 
but every family is different. Then you would have your Bible verse here. Again, I like to take these and pull them out or put them in a folder or laminate them and put them on a bulletin board so we have them to refer to throughout the year or throughout our Bible devotional. And then your Bible verse for chapter 2. Here we have the Science 1 4th Edition Activity Answer Key, which is going to be very similar to the Activities book. Again, there's your Bible verse. And then here are the same pages, just with the answers for you. Some of these answers, if they're short answers, will vary depending on the student. You may have some that are fill in the blank, multiple choice. You may have some throughout that are true and false. But this is pretty similar to the activities just with the answers, as it's the activities answer key.